For the man who brought you TED, and more recently the 2013 Academy Awards, comes A Million Ways to Die in the West, Seth MacFarlane's new cowboy comedy. But as is usually the case with the Family Guy creator's distinct brand of offbeat raunch, there's only one path to his humor. One company out in Boston that... Ah! Ah! That went south so fast! A Million Ways to Die in the West is a gross-out gun smoke, and nowhere near classic Western comedies like Blazing Saddles. McFarland directs, co-writes, and also stars, playing an old-time effect simile of himself in the lead role of Albert, a cowardly sheep farmer in the 1882 Arizona frontier town of Old Stump. He has issues of love and manly honor to deal with. Amanda Siegfried is Louise, the woman who breaks Albert's heart, leading to a confrontation between Albert and Foy, Neil Patrick Harris's mustachio playboy, whom Albert challenges to a duel for Louise's hand. Albert can't shoot to save his life, literally, but he's schooled by savvy newcomer Anna, played by Charlie Theron, who also helps him get over the hump of living in Old Stump. Of course, Anna is married to Liam Neeson's reviled outlaw, Clinch, and so ensues a romantic subplot we've already seen a million times in Western cinema. The curious thing about McFarlane is that he knows very well how to make people laugh, yet he's locked into the most infantile of humor, obsessed with jokes about farts, diarrhea, and genitals that miss more often than they hit. Because the film is simply more McFarlane, your mileage may vary here. For my money, he's simply not great at being the leading man, coming off as more obnoxious than straight up funny. If I was a black guy, this is the meanest trick you could play on me. <laughs> He's outclassed here by Theron, who shows off her comedy chops in a surprisingly big way. Every year, people die. Really? Everybody hold still. People die at the fair. People die at the fair. The funniest lines are typically one-offs that rarely come from McFarlane, who primarily spouts obscenities for most of the film. Aside from a few choice cameos from some of the genre's greatest hits, there aren't a million hilarious jokes here, and a lot of the half-decent ones overstay their welcome or have a forced execution. A Million Ways to Die in the West has some highlights, to be sure, but ask yourself if McFarlane's previous work like Ted is the kind of comedy that makes you laugh before heading off to the multiplex. For the Star.com, I'm Peter Howell.